Cat Sync TV. Hey everybody, Cat Sync TV here, and this is part one of our detailed look at the Arturia Mini Brute 2. The Arturia Mini Brute 2 is a monophonic analog subtractive synthesizer with two oscillators, a multi-mode filter, amplifier and mixer, LFOs and envelopes, and a modular patch bay. It also has a sequencer and arpeggiator, but we will save those for part two of this series. For now, we will focus on the voice features. The primary oscillator has the standard sawtooth, square, and triangle waveforms, but each has a twist. The square wave includes standard pulse width modulation connected to an LFO. The sawtooth wave is an ultra sawtooth mode that mixes in phase shifted copies of the original wave, creating a richer sound. And the triangle, which can be a bit bland on its own, has a unique function called metalizer that folds the wave back on itself, creating a timbrely rich tone. You can also modulate the metalizer using the keyboard velocity. This makes a particularly good bass patch. Oscillator 2 can be used as a sound source, for example, as a sub-oscillator bass. It can also be used to modulate the frequency of oscillator 1. You can get some really complex sounds rather quickly this way. We now move on to the filter section. The Mini Brute 2 has a Steiner Parker filter with four different modes. The cutoff frequency of the filter can be modulated with the main envelope. But we can use the patch bay to change the modulation source. For example, we can change it to LFO2. LFO2 into filter two. cutoff. We can even use Oscillator 2 to modulate the filter, creating some complex and chaotic sounds. <laughs> 
As we see, the filters are quite powerful and can even be set to self-oscillate. Turn this way up. We turn off the oscillators now, leaving only the filter. We can gain some performative control over this function by patching the keyboard to the filter cutoff. Okay, so now we'll turn our attention to the trademark brute factor. The brute factor adds a nonlinear and chaotic element to the sound. Turning it up just a little bit adds distortion. And then we can turn it up a lot. Okay, so now we're going to try putting it all together. We're going to start with a modulated sawtooth wave. We're going to add in some other waveforms. And we're going to add a bit of resonance modulation via LFO2. Add in a little sub. We got some nice fat bass going here. Okay, now we're going to take a look at one of the patches in the included cookbook, Sonorum, by sound designer Victor Morello. Let's take this down a little bit there. Bring a little oscillator two in. If we take out the main oscillators, we can hear the self-oscillation of the filter. This concludes part one of our demonstration of the Arturia Mini Brute 2. In parts two and three, we will look at the sequencer, arpeggiator, and external sources. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.